Numbers tell the whole story. Results, it's the name of the game. Someone that can deadlift 800 pounds can tell you the story of the accumulation of that someone's genetics, training, hard work, and preparation coming together to pull off this amazing feat. A 198-pound powerlifter by the name of Jesse Norris deadlifts 800 pounds in the cage, the animal cage. In competition, he squatted 700 pounds, benched 400 pounds, and deadlifted, I think, a little over 700 as well. Google search this guy, and you'll see that he's a genetic beast. I can say that because he's 19. Jesse Norris. Uh, I heard this on the PowerCast. He was mentioned. I looked him up, and I was like, holy crap, that is a perfect deadlift. I imagine this guy like Mike O'Hearn. If you guys don't know who Mike O'Hearn is, search him. And this he's jacked and tan, actor, bodybuilder, powerlifter. I heard this interview with him on power on the Powercast, Mark Bell, one of his first Powercasts. And he talked about how he grew up around the strongest guys in the country. This is when O'Hearn was like 14 years old. He claims to be 100% natural. But let's say you're a fanboy that isn't a part of the negative YouTube community that hates on people. What if he is? How would someone become a Michael Hearn drug free? You would have to have superior genetics, have great coaches, and a really early start. I'm not here to debate whether these guys are drug free or not. I want to presuppose a scenario for those that think guys that accomplish amazing feats have to be on PEDS. How would someone get there? How could you do it without drugs? Decades of training. Decades of training. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to train for decades. It could mean that you work around people that have trained for decades and you get to hang around people. This is the reason why if you listen to stories of other powerlifters and other great athletes, guess who they train with? They train with the best and you essentially grow inside your pond. With the resources I have and the resources that I choose to use, I am totally focused on accomplishing and making this 600 pound deadlift a reality. I have nine weeks to do it. And the only thing on my mind right now is how am I going to do this? How am I going to train? How has my training been going? And what is it, what's gonna have to happen by when for me to get to this goal? If it was do or die, could you deadlift 600 pounds by the end of the year? This is the question I ask myself. This is what I'm focused on. And it's so easy to get distracted and I have to remember and remind myself that this is the only way I'm going to get there. I have to 100% dedication, 100% focus on doing this. I did my body fat today and I was fucking fat and it was so annoying and it's so easy to be like, I'm getting soft, I'm getting fluffy, but today is not about composition. This year is not about composition. I'm sharing these thoughts with you because I'm just like, fuck, I really need to drop my body fat percentage. And um, I'm going to keep that to myself because it's quite embarrassing. But needless to say, I'm going to accomplish this goal. I told myself if I wasn't where I wanted to be by August, I'm going to eat my way there. And you know what? It's too late to give up now. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. In this current moment, this current day, that over the next nine weeks, I'm committing to hitting a 600-pound deadlift, ripping that bitch off the ground and making this a reality. This is today, October 22nd, 2014, nine weeks to go. December 30th is the day. Thanks for watching.